Well, while we are welcoming the warm weather and spring breeze here in South Carolina, that breeze is blowing allergens into the air, which for many adults welcomes sneezing, coughing, and itching. I did some research and dove into these seasonal allergies and their serious effects. It's not officially spring yet, but thanks to trees like these, it'll soon be hard to find a dry eye around. But seasonal allergies, also called hay fever, can be a bit more complex than a few inconvenient sneezes and sniffles. Asthma was one of the worst symptoms that I had, but that obviously wasn't the first. I mean, I get itchy eyes and watery eyes and then um, sinus issues. USC student Rachel Wood used to get allergy shots weekly for four years and is also training for a 10K but finds that a bit more difficult when pollen strikes. And Rachel isn't alone as seasonal allergies affect more than 50 million Americans each year, according to Hopkins Medicine. My lungs will kind of constrict a little bit, so I, I'll feel like a tightness in the chest just because of like the asthma and stuff. But usually if I take an inhaler before I run, when the allergies are really bad, then I'm fine. And if you are experiencing those symptoms typical of this time of year, itchy and runny eyes, nose, sneezing and coughing, the solution may not be as easy as a bottle of Benadryl. Here at the Carolina Sinus Center in West Columbia, ear, nose, and throat Dr. Andrea Williams and her staff will be testing for 48 different foods and inhalants. Test for food and environmental allergies with these kits you see here. It's good to know what you're allergic to. So if you go to the physician, you can be tested because if you know what your allergens are, then you can control your environment. I used to like sit down in grass too and get hives. And after I got the allergy shots, like I'm pretty much fine. And Dr. Williams says ignoring allergy symptoms or using over-the-counter drugs over and over can lead to other, bigger health issues. Allergies can provoke other disorders or exacerbate them. So for example, sinusitis. A lot of times the swelling from allergies results in obstruction of the sinuses and can cause recurrent infections. A simple trip to find out what you're allergic to and how you can be treated can improve your everyday life. Think about it, if you're just under the weather because you're not breathing well, you're congested, you're not functioning well. So if you're not functioning to full capacity, you see how much you're robbing your daily life, that your quality of life. And your quality of life could be compromised for months as allergy season typically runs as long as May. So for those like Rachel, the next few months are going to be a long haul. But with proper medication. Now I can run outside without obviously having an asthma attack. She'll be on the right track. Ariana Mount, Carolina News.